Okay. Well, we've tried all these. None of these work on the car. And none of these worked on the bike. So, of course, right now that's squawking because I just shut the bike off. I don't want to overheat it. But, get what you pay for. I think I paid a little over 50 bucks for this. All these others are like five, seven, or eight dollars. And none of them work. All it gets a red light. They do connect the Bluetooth, but all it gets a red light and the uh, none of these programs will connect to them. Uh, the LBC Link, it worked great with the car, my Bonneville. And uh, this, this RPM up, it's made for Harleys and it worked it worked like a champ with this cable I bought and here it is this connector is just hanging down here on the battery so I could conceivably just put button that cover back up and throw this in the saddle bag and get some information about the bike the uh, stock software it didn't like talking to the Harley but it talked to the car just fine but uh like I say all these cheap ass seven eight nine ten dollar ones from eBay a single one of them worked except for uh in this one okay and it came boxed up in a nice box uh, see it's got some pretty good security you got to push the button to get it to uh, pair with a Bluetooth device and the moment you press that button you don't have to hold it or anything it's ready to pair and it paired instantly found it it was easier to pair than most headphones at least finally I found a device that works so in fact I bought this I can put my cell phone in here and so it'll talk to this device I'm a, and I'm happy with that cable I bought too. It was a little bit expensive, it was about 20 bucks. But nobody else had one. So, and as usual with Harley, that little clip broke, so we finally got done screwing with it. So now I just zip tie that thing. So we're gonna put all this back and we'll try doing a dyno test on this thing tomorrow.